be funny. Arch is on the couch with me here. His name is Uche Divine. He's a stand-up comedian extraordinaire. Well, let's get to know this very interesting young gentleman. Funny Arch, you are welcome, man. Thank you. Now, first off, I introduced you the other time. I said um, an Instagram comedian, but then MM said, no, he's a stand-up comedian. But I like to think that you are one and the same because you also do do Instagram um, or <laughs> funny stuff, uh, funny skits on Instagram, don't you? I do. Yeah. Um, they're not the same because most... Instagram comedians are not stand-up comedians. Okay. For you to be a stand-up comedian, you should be able to handle the crowd. Mm. It's more like one man, one mic. Yeah. So what's the way? Okay. So fine. For Instagram uh, com uh, comedy, you have to be able to put these funny instances together and package yeah. them. The and soundtrack, the soundtrack, and, and all of that. But as a stand-up comedian, you have to be able to manage a crowd. Uh, you don't need, you don't need soundtrack. It can't yeah. be cracking joke, and you'll be like. <laughs> and it's live, it's on the go, it's like, you know. Well, so that is something I find very, very interesting. As an MC myself, I know that you need a crowd to be able to be a good MC, but sometimes they determine exactly how your content goes. What's been your experience since you've been doing comedy? When did you start? Okay, I started comedy, stand-up comedy. I started comedy 2018, December, mm -hmm. when I went for service, okay. Castina. I just tried comedy for the first time. People were like, guy, you're good. I want Castina Best Comedian. Oh, really? Basi, yeah. Okay. I want... So, people were like, guy, you're good. You need to... I was supposed to relocate to Port to uh -huh. continue teaching. I was actually teaching there. Oh, nice. People were like, no, you need to come to Lagos. Lagos is the... I was the like, center ah, for comedy. I don't know anybody here in Lagos. I didn't tell my parents I was relocating to Lagos. Uh-huh. They not told me, it's like, you go to Lagos and I'm going to find work. Ah. You was, saw an opportunity there. It was not like, ah, God, thank you for fighting my battle. <laughs> now, the question was, where are you going to stay here in Lagos? Um, but I just said, I go go. Uh. I came to Lagos. I shall find a way. It has been crazy coming to Lagos. Really? 2019, I finished my service November. I had to go back home to show them. Yeah. I'm a graduate. Mm -hmm. So my parents didn't want me to come back to Lagos. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. they were like, you don't know anybody, it's done. Mm. And, I, and I told them I was doing HSC. Mm. So you practically you lied to them? Uh, they're watching this. So. <laughs> 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 but I actually, I came back, I registered for HSC. Let me okay. not be as if I lied. Mm -hmm. So I, I got the certificate. 2020, I won one competition. Here in Lagos? Yeah, in Lagos. Okay. So we are supposed to go for a trip, London trip. Okay. And I will be doing comedy. So I told my parents, I want this trip. So for the first time, my father supported me. He was like, you see, oh, wow. nobody knows how God will bless this family. So Very you see, the comedy, keep it up. I was like, ah. Yeah, Papa, it's not yeah. the same. It's not the ah. same person. <laughs> COVID came. Oh. I couldn't go to London. I became very broke. Mm. I had to go back to Abba mm. to see my parents. Ah, it was like, so my, <laughs> I will not forget the experience. When I went back home, my father was like, okay, welcome back. Uh, you're not going back again. Do you know it could be because of you that God brought out COVID? I was like, yeah, the main reason for COVID. For me. <laughs> we, found the, we found the reason, guys. This is it. <laughs> I was like, for me, God had to shut the whole, the whole world. <laughs> put the whole, everybody in, indoors because of me. I was like, is that how God loves? I know God loves me, but ah. <laughs> but I, just, I, want, I wanted to go to London. And my parents were like, no, you're not going anywhere. Some of my friends that knew me, mm -hmm. they were like, oh, guy, you're good. And... Mm -hmm. Because coming to Lagos 2019, I was opportune to perform at Echo Hotel. Okay. That same year, and it was. Mm -hmm. What event was this where you performed? Rugged Man's Show. Oh, okay, okay. I was doing a comedy club at MC Mbaka. He has a comedy okay. club. And someone came, mm -hmm. came, Mr. Smike, Smike Global came, saw me perform, was like, you know what, I'm organizing Rugged Man's Show. Mm -hmm. You're being, you're coming up. I was like, wow, my first year in, here in Lagos, I'm climbing a cool quarter. I, I, I want to ask exactly um, how lucrative this whole comedy business is now. It's post COVID 19 lockdown, post the lockdown. Is it still as lucrative as what it was? Was it ever lucrative for you as a beginner? Is it something that you can say that I know that it has a very big you know, 
a wide future for not just me, but an entire industry? Yes, comedy has, it has been lucrative for me. Okay. Um, Have you bought a car yet? Like a big car, a Benz? <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Uh -huh, but it's coming? Yes. Okay. Um, but it's coming home. I'm, I'm saying, <laughs> okay, you're sending it to... But if I say it's coming, my father will start calling me. <laughs> <laughs> but as an upcoming stand-up comedy, comedian, mm -hmm. it's not easy. To be frank, COVID messed a lot of things up. That's why you actually see me do skits. Okay. Because if you're looking at online, guys are buying cars. That, I know that's why you asked the question. Well, this is true because online comedians are, are, have found a way to monetize this in a way we never saw um, before the uh, pandemic. Um, and brands are also buying into their content as well. They're using them to advertise this or that and all of that. So. Um, you've got a couple of skits on social media as well, and I'm wondering whether which one is much more lucrative, stand-up at this point or online comedy? Oh, online. Uh, online is online. more okay. lucrative because you have many platforms where you can... Spread you have, your... Yeah. You have your Facebook, you have your YouTube, mm -hmm. and you still have people paying for adverts. Mm -hmm. But as a stand-up comedian, it's mostly when you have your gigs, mm -hmm. And when you're putting up your... Is it easy to make that switch from stand-up to online? Is it possible? Is it, is it the same one and the same? It's actually easy to do that, mm -hmm. to do the switch. Where the question comes in is getting the fan base. Mm -hmm. One thing is doing skits, doing, being an Instagram comedian. Another thing is being able to make it go very viral, viral. and yeah. doing the promotion. The PR needs to be mad. Mm -hmm. A lot of stand-up comedians have good content. They have most of their jokes, they can also put out as skits. Mm -hmm. Well, because you're looking at your fan base, you're like, ah, you can do this now. Someone that has bigger fan base, you do it. Mm, and yeah. we, uh, but that, your that's idea. my joke. That, yeah. Come on, it's gone. Yeah. So that's one of the problems most stand up comedians are facing. Okay. So, as a new comedian, stand up comedian on the scene, how much support do you get from the older folk, the veterans, the you know, guys at the top? <sighs> are they supporting new comedy? For me or general? Now, let me ask this question again. Generally now, and of course for you, okay. so one and the same, I answer both ways. For instance, now when they call you to come and perform, do they, do they pay you in kind or pay you in cash? And I mean heavy cash. Are they supporting you? Okay, uh, it happens both ways. You need, the pay, you need the payment in kind mm. and you need the payment in You need cash. it, it's actually necessary. Yes. Okay. Not because you can't, you can't survive by you killed it. Mm. Nice one. Mm -hmm. um, now, a lot of senior colleagues have been working over time. I uh, have been very supportive. I won't mm. lie. They call me for their gigs. And everybody wants to work with someone that is good. Yeah. And when you see someone that is good, you try to you try to appreciate. So okay. you can go back pre to renew your work because. Mm -hmm. When you come out and you're hungry, you don't. When yeah. you, when you pay, after performance, you go home and you're hungry. You can't take off new job. But when you come and you say, ah, take this. Take, yeah, that encourages you to. You get to me, you're looking at the money. Oh, wow. no, 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 no. If this joke can get me this, imagine if I have times 10 of it. Oh, interesting. I'll tell you what, Funny Arch, we're going to come back with you. Funny Arch is going to be joining us for our games because it's game day today for a Friday, so don't go anywhere. You two don't go anywhere. We'll have a very interesting game. It's very simple. Stay tuned. We'll wake up Nigeria.